Happy Friday, Mid-Michigan. We finally made it all the way through the work week and we had some pretty easy weather and today, no exception. Another beautiful sunny one out there with temperatures that will be warm, at least in the middle 60s. Let's take a look at your first one five pinpoint Doppler radar at MBS live in 3D. Doesn't really matter where you are. Gladwin, Midland, Bay City and Saginaw all enjoying sunshine. Mount Pleasant, Flint and Grand Blank also seeing those blue skies out there. We do see a slight chance for an isolated shower later this evening, but for the next couple hours at least, it's going to be beautiful. Now let's go outside and show you around town to a couple different spots. Stopping first in Saginaw at 61 degrees with dew points in about the middle 30s, so it's feeling pretty dry. Winds coming in from the northeast at around 9 miles an hour. We're not going to be seeing too much in the way of winds. A little bit breezy at times, otherwise beautiful. Let's take you out to our next stop. That's going to be in Bay City, where it's 62 degrees in this location. A few fair weather clouds out there. Otherwise, though, it's going to be easy going. A beautiful day to get out there on the lake if you have the chance later on. Let's take you out to our very last stop. That's going to be in Flint. Both directions of 75 moving along at an easy pace. Sunglass is a good idea. 63 degrees and we're only going up from there. Let's take you out to Tim's elsewhere across the board because most of us are already in the lower 60s. If you're along the lakeshore, that's the exception where you're in the 50s. Later on today, though, highs will climb at least into the middle and upper 60s for most of us. Should be a beautiful day. And once it gets just a little bit warmer, you can probably leave the jacket in the car. You won't need it for later on this afternoon. Now your first Warren 5 Sky Tracker. Not a single cloud in the sky, maybe a few high ones up to the north, and that's really about it. And we're going to keep that in play as we really have a lot of high pressure off to our west. That's going to move into mid-Michigan later on for today. That's going to bring with it continued clear skies. There's one exception, a slight chance and a very isolated chance for maybe one or two spotty showers later this evening. Let's show you that hour by hour this afternoon at one o'clock. No matter where you are, it is gorgeous out there as we fast forward closer to around six or seven. If you're heading out for a late dinner or a night on the town, that's when you need to be aware. Again, a few pop up showers are possible anywhere from about Claire all the way to the north closer to Harrisville. These will be very light showers. They shouldn't really impact your evening at all, so don't cancel any plans. They'll be in and out of here as soon as we head towards Saturday morning, which will start off with a mix of sun and clouds. Notice that rain, though, as it moves closer to us right around lunchtime or so. These showers also going to be similar to what, if we see any at all for today, what they will be like very light, very isolated. They will also move pretty quickly. They'll be out of here by dinner time tomorrow, so don't cancel any plans on Saturday. Just be aware you could come across one very quick shower, but then we're drying out in a little bit of some clouds as we start off our Mother's Day on Sunday, but really it should be beautiful. Just a few clouds out there. Still a good day to get outside and celebrate mom. Temperatures will be warm for today, though. About 66 is the overall high with mostly sunny conditions for tonight. We're dropped down to 44 degrees with just a few clouds hanging around for your Mother's Day on Sunday. Be sure to celebrate mom. Tell her how much you love her. 67 degrees will be the high on Sunday with partly sunny conditions. Here's your full seven day forecast heading into this weekend. A slight isolated chance for showers tomorrow. Mother's Day high about six 67 and then take a look as we head towards next week, upper 70s and even the lower 80s.